Hi, I'm Kevin Non. I'm the Associate Director of Communications for DJI Asia Pacific. So I support with the external communications for DJI here. So this is the all new Mavic, Mavic Pro. So what is special about this is that it's very portable, it's foldable, has very nice design. Uh, and basically you could take this anywhere you go. Um, it allows people to actually create possibilities and inspirations, whether they're traveling, uh, whether they're out in the park, uh, you know, it just gives it, makes it so much easier for people to actually see the world differently with this uh, product. A couple of key features that um, we're seeing in the Mavic Pro for the first time, uh, you know, with the Active Track, uh, we've added actually additional um, features within the Active Track, like trace profile uh, and also the, um, you know, the follow me. Uh, you know, these things actually make the drone a lot smarter so that you could focus on the angle and the camera while it's doing the work for you. So if you look at the two um, optical cameras here, um, these are like uh, our eyes. It actually sees the environment in 3D and it makes a decision on, uh, you know, if I'm running into an object or a wall, a tree, it decides to stop and just hover in its place. This would actually give me an uh, opportunity to bring aerial photography on my travels because this is quite easy to just pack and fold in my bag. And uh, it actually also uses, uh, I could operate it with just my smartphone at a very close distance. So this is actually very easy when I'm traveling around Asia and I want to take aerial photos of myself or the places around me. So um, these two products, uh, you know, have a different positioning. Um, what we hope to do with the Mavic Pro is that um, this will actually give people, especially first time pilots, um, you know, the, a taste of what aerial technology could do for them. Um, because of the size and portability. In terms of the degrees of the, um, the uh, FOV, this one is about 79 degrees. The Phantom 4 is 98, so this is a little bit, uh, the Phantom 4 is a bit wider. But in terms of the 4K, 12 megapixels, that's uh, pretty much the same. So you could still get decent quality footage and photos with the uh, Mavic Pro. Um, you know, you're looking at um, at least a standard 4K camera, uh, and that's kind of the thing that, that consumers now look for and then we've packaged that actually a very light camera nothing that's in addition that you have to maybe um, mount on and as you can see it's it's really lightweight um, even with the gimbal there so this is um, uh, the controller for the Mavic Pro you've seen that it's completely different from what you've seen in uh, previous Phantoms and Inspire models we've taken um, gaming console design cues um, in this controller so that it feels very natural in the palm of your hands. Um, so there's two options, well actually three, you can actually control the, the Mavic Pro with just the controller, but you won't be able to see what you're filming. And then secondly, you could do it together while you're filming and flying. Mm -hmm. The third one is you could actually switch to Wi-Fi mode and just use your smartphone um, to control the drone at a very short distance and do a quick selfie. Right now, um, it, it's quite easy. Uh, we have this cable here, which we can plug into our phone. So there is also a USB port at the bottom here. This is padded in, and then you lock this in like that. So it becomes like that. Well, um, this is quite adjustable. So up to like a six inch or so, you know, that would you know, fit perfectly. Uh, if you look at this now, I think the beauty of having now this controller and having this, this instrument panel is that, you know, I could actually use the smartphone and focus on where the camera is shooting. Yep. Whereas I could look at the altitude, the distance, the battery life all on here. So with the controller, you're looking at maximum seven kilometers with the OcuSync. Okay. This is a DJI transmission um, uh, 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 feature. Yep. Um, previously, it was the Lightbridge, five kilometers on the Phantom 4. Um, on the Wi-Fi only uh, mode with your smartphone, that's about 80 um, meters in distance and 50 meters in altitude. Oh, okay. So it's a shorter distance um, because for the uh, smartphone mode, you probably are you know, aiming for a, uh, a selfie or a, a closer area when you're, when you're shooting. Here right now is, um, you see, it's now connected to the drone. You see what the camera sees. Here is the vision positioning system, uh, the altitude and whatnot. Here you could switch to camera or the uh, video mode. And this is uh, ready to go, so this vision is ready. So same with our previous drones. Uh, there is auto takeoff, auto landing. And here, if you look at some of the new smart features, gesture is the one where you do the gesture to take a selfie of yourself without the remote controller. Yeah. Active track, like I said, there's a three key feature, trace, um, profile, and also the um, spotlight, okay? And then tap fly, same as before, terrain follow, following you up the hill, yep. and then the point of interest. Wow. So these are some of the very easy to use intelligent features that uh, we built into this. And uh, some of the customers were actually flying inside the cage um, for the very first time. 
um, because we had a flight cage. So, you know, it took them probably five to 10 minutes to learn how to take off, uh, do maybe a small square or a small circle and also land. So, you know, this could be learned within, I would say, you know, within 20 to 30 minutes um, because of the st stability. Um, first time pilots, a lot of times, uh, you know, they're not confident because they've never had, um, you know, they were never behind the controller. Well, once they have their hands on the controller, they really feel how stable this is. Uh, and, and they're very confident afterwards. And you see a big smile on their face after trying it for the first time. I think with all technology, form factor, battery life, uh, ease of use, these are key things that all technology will actually eventually, um, you know, move towards. Uh, and, and, you know, what you'll probably see in the future is more, port more portability, um, you know, better features, better form factor, uh, longer battery life. And I think, um, you know, anything's possible at DJI. I think, you know, having more, um, you know, people joining the UAV ecosystem is actually a, a, a positive thing. If you look at how the ecosystem, especially in China, is building, you have probably two to three hundred uh, startups looking into yeah. this technology. Um, what this means is that actually it, you know, increases the pace of innovation. Um, having said that, you know, we we have ten years of experience in flying, in gimbal, aerial photography, in algorithms in our drones. So we're very confident about our product, uh, and it's a very competitive price point in what we're offering.